Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is something I have been so excited for and that is me potting my Pylea Peperomoides, otherwise known as the Chinese money plant. Now I have a pot and I have like what I'm going to call a nursery pot because Amanda from Plantarina like she keeps her plants in a nursery pot and this is the type of pot that it is. It's like the one you stick it in when you first get it. Like when you're first trying to grow something or the pot that it originally comes in. That type of thing. Now, before I get into the planting, did you know that B&M sell calatheas? I'm not joking. They sell calatheas. And I know that because when I was in B&M buying my houseplant soil, this the one that I've got is Westland. I walked past them. They sell calatheas. They also sold Dracaena. There was another one that they sold. I can't remember the name and I think the reason why I can't remember it is because it's not one that I personally find as a common one. I feel like it is common though, but I can't remember it. But yeah. So if you are maybe looking for a, why have I completely forgotten the name even though I just said it? So if you are looking for a Calathea or a Dracaena, like the ones that are, actually have sort of like a trunk, go to B&M because there's a chance it might sell it. Obviously they'll only, the B&M closest to you will only sell it if they have a garden centre, so yeah, but potting time! So I have it here, it has some good roots, like it has a good root system, good three, four inches long I'd say. It is curled up on itself at the bottom though because of the container but yeah when i scratched it a while not a while back but a few weeks back and it's starting to repair i did have to remove a leaf last week though because it was going all brown i was in a different location like i was yeah i was in a different location and even though i was pretty sure like the light direction was the same like I was pretty sure it was like northeast or at least like north facing light that leaf just wasn't going well and I think I noticed it happening very slightly on another leaf but we'll have to wait and see how that sort of turns out now in case you are wondering this like nursery pot is literally just from pan stretcher you need a good you need a drip so a pot with drainage holes and it fits nicely into this clamp pot that I got from Dunelm which was four pounds this was like 79p so in total it was like a fiver and it just slots in nicely in case you were wondering like this is 13.5 centimeters wide and this fits nicely and before I bought it I made sure it fit nicely because I had the plant pot with me because I just picked it up or like I'd picked it up like half an hour before so that was great because it meant I could see whether it was going to fit and even though you can see it now when the plant grows out it won't be as noticeable and once you've got some soil in again it won't be as noticeable so I have some scissors here with me oh sorry I have some scissors here with me to cut open the bag because it doesn't have you know like one of those ziplock type things for resealing <laughs> typical soil smell that's probably sounds so weird to say. Like I'm just calling it a typical soil smell. <laughs> and that's also why I'm doing it on the table as well because it's gonna be messy. 
messy and obviously when it's on the table it's a lot easier to clear up. Now I just have this mug for going in the soil and pouring it in. This isn't used on a regular basis which is why I'm using it. In fact I don't remember when it was last used. It was from someone who used to be an old family friend but yeah. Let's move the plants out of the way. I've got a nice enough amount for the first time. Like I said, there was... Actually, no, I didn't say in this. This house plant soil has some ceramides in... Who says on the front contains... Oh, God water retaining ceramite and it, was, it also has added perlite for optimum airflow and drainage so it's perfect soil for houseplants which is why it's called houseplant soil but you can sort of see like the ceramite and perlite I don't know whether you can see it properly on camera actually I think you can like the orangey bits are ceramite and the whiter bits are perlite and I'm just gonna put that in the pot you know and I'm just gonna tap it because you want to try and get rid of some air bubbles I know you're supposed to do it more when the plants sort of like more in but I was doing it now I'm trying to do this as tidily as possible, but it's probably not going to work. Okay, so a little bit more before I stick the plant in. Oh god, I barely got any in that. Let's just do it tiny this is all I'm doing terrible at this oh there we go that's a lot lot better a whole lot better so let's spread that out compact it because if you compact it you're more likely to get rid of like air bubbles Them out for a little bit just so that I can put the plant in and then I'll stick that bit around and because the table doesn't have any food on the bits that have fallen are just gonna go in that pot and let's cover the floor with um, soil so I'm gonna tap this to settle it clear any air bubbles and actually before I stick it in, this in, I'm going to use some of the, this water to sort of water it in and just to add some moisture so that when it feels the soil, it's not going to be as big of a shock to the system. And again, I'm just going to tap it out. And I'm just going to hold that there. And of course it all decides to come out at once when I'm trying to do it. It's ever so gentle. But a bit more soil. course it's everywhere 
Mm. I'm probably going to get this entirely wrong and I'm probably going to wreck the plant. Now, I could have planted this a while back, but I didn't have the money to purchase like soil so I had to wait till I had the money so yeah now I'm gonna go oh I've still got some more in here I forgot about that feel like I should have done it a bit deeper so let's dig into this completely wet soil and pretty much bury that first leaf well not bury it bury it but you know come close mm. bit of soil went in the bottom but that's all right and I'm just gonna go fill this up with a little bit more water and we'll come back now I'd like to remind you I have no plant experience and for all I know I've probably done this not deep enough actually I don't think I have so let's put up a little and get some more soil but like I said, I'm new to plants. Especially house plants. The only plants I ever sort of like grew up with were when you plant cucumber in the summer. And I'm not kidding. unbury this bottom leaf and stick some soil there now I'd like to point out obviously because I've not owned house plants I don't know how much to water it so I'm just gonna have to play it by ear as they made me say as the saying goes of course I'm getting soil all over me I'll probably put a little bit more water in this after I've finished uh, just because some of the soil is a little, is on the dry side still but that is my plant that's my Chinese money plant I am still getting some foli like leaves coming through and I'm hope and I know that in order to get it climatized to being in soil to try and keep the water, uh, the soil moist every day, at least just to let it help adjust before you leave it like a week without watering or, cause I'm pretty sure it said it's like a week you need to go between watering this. So I'm just gonna add a bit more water and yeah. Now in terms of like the type of water I've used, I'm pretty sure I've used hard, water at least I remember being told it's hard water in my house like two years ago so there's that I could have used rainwater but I couldn't be bothered to go out into the garden to get the water from the water but and I've had enough of walking today even though the garden isn't far like I can literally see the water but from here but yeah at least now I've got something in a pot. I feel more accomplished now it's in a pot and obviously now just to keeping it alive and to new leaves coming through and to it becoming big and luscious 
Now, I'm hoping I haven't put it in a pot that's too big for itself, but I kind of didn't want to buy like a little pot to then have to upgrade. So if it dies, it's my fault. But I'm hoping that by keeping it like this, like keeping the water moist a bit, it will help it. But also, I obviously did keep it in here for a bit longer, so it has had a little bit more um, time to grow its roots, and its roots are lo roots are longer. So I'm hoping that that will help it whilst it's in the soil. And when I did receive it, it did have some soil like around it, or, like around like the top of the roots. So it had been in soil so it should climatize easier obviously i don't know and it could die on me like i said but if it does then i just know to buy another rooted pilea pepperomoides and just try again but ah i have a potted plant like a natural potted potted plant and it's like a proper house plant and honestly I'm so excited and yeah kind of doesn't want to like stand up so let's try and or at least in my eyes stand up But I'm hoping that because I've got the correct soil as well, that that should help it to grow and do well. Luckily, these trousers were needed for the wash anyway. What excuse am I going to come up with to my mum? Probably that I walked beside a bush that had dirt on best excuse but this is now going on my windowsill and i'm going to watch it grow i might update you guys on its progress like especially in like the summer if that's something you are interested in as it grows i might sort of lift it up a bit because as you can see it's not like right at the top i didn't i i don't know whether i'm supposed to put it right at the top I feel like I am though. <sighs> I hope I'm not causing it too much damage. And if I do cause it damage, I hope it's reversible. Or, or at the very least, I hope it can repair itself from that damage. <laughs> I'm going to do a bit at a time just to, yeah. And of course it all comes out at once. Soil, I was wanting it bit at a time, not all at once, but oh well. When you water it, it obviously goes back down so I'm going to grab some more water and bring it down. I think the thing that's confusing me with this or like push is the fact that the roots oh god seem so close to the leaves like the roots are close to the leaves and so are like yeah they're just close to the leaves And now to add this little bit. Oh, we've got some bark in here. I didn't realise that. I 
Okay, now I'm going to leave it at what I've done it at now. Just because I don't want to get it right to the top. Because soil is just going to go everywhere. Soil, like, come out. So I might have just overwatered this, but like I said, in an hour's time I'll drain it out. And I haven't actually buried any leaves, have I? Have I? Oh I have. I've buried a leaf. Because of the container it was in, it sort of formed to that container. So it, and obviously the container was very like curved so yeah let's hope this survives but I think now that it's got space it might grow better because it's got space to like root and everything but that is my Chinese money plant I'm going to try and stick that over the side but no it's not going to work but once it grows more I'll try and stick it over the side so it gets better light but that is my Pelia peperomoides that, that is me transplanting it from water to soil I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up if you want more plant related videos from me like dedicated plant related videos rather than just like the odd short let me know in the comment section if you want to see me pot up my snake plant when it comes to me doing that let me know and I will certainly do that and I will probably do that even if you don't want it. So, be warned. Just say yes. And, yeah. Let me know if you own any houseplants or if you are considering any, owning any houseplants. And, yeah. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.